Before we start the weekly construction meeting, let me greet you with pleasant good afternoon. Welcome to our construction management meeting number 77, as cut off dated October 29th to November 4th, 2020. Furthermore, let me inform you that any comments or additional matter will discuss afterwards this video presentation. For site accomplishment, as of October 29th to November 4th, 2020. For structural accomplishment, this week of in progress accomplishment are Installation of 16th floor precast Cancreting of 17 floor slab phase 2, with concrete volume of 188 cubic meter Cancreting of 16th floor to 17 floor stair 2, with concrete volume of 5 cubic meter Cancreting of 19 floor elevator shear wall and 20 floor slab lobby with concrete volume of 73 cubic meter. Slump test had result of maximum 6 inches. For this week, the accumulated accomplishment on 17th floor is 99.06%. For 18th floor, the accumulated accomplishment is 22.12%. For 19th floor, the accumulated accomplishment is 23.46%. For 20th floor, the accumulated accomplishment is 0.83%. Now, we bring you the overall accomplishment for cancreting works. Previously, we got 21,138.69 cubic meter or 55.73%. This week, we have a progress of 462.67 cubic meter or 1.22%. To date, we have a total accomplishment of 21,601.36 cubic meter or 56.95%. Look ahead for Cancreting R. Cancreting of 18 floor slab phase 1 and stair, with estimated concrete volume of 173 cubic meter. Cancreting of 17 floor columns phase 2, with estimated concrete volume of 38 cubic meter. Cancreting of 20 floor elevator shear wall 1, with estimated concrete volume of 68 cubic meter. Architectural works. Masonry. Activities for this week are 1. Construction of parking elevator at second floor. 2. Construction of parking elevator and installation of non-skid tiles at third floor. 3. Rubbed cut of ceiling and column at phase 1. Cancreting and installation of elevator precast. And plastering of stair 2 and parrot wall at fourth floor. 4. Plastering of stair 1. Construction of elevator wall. Installation of elevator precast. CHB laying and plastering of CR, stair 1 and parrot wall. And rubbed cot of ceiling at 5th floor. 5. CHB laying of CR at 6th floor. Progress photos for architectural works. Activities at 2nd floor. Construction of parking elevator. Activities at 3rd floor. 1. Construction of parking elevator. 2. Installation of non-skid tiles. Activities at 4th floor. 1. Plastering of stair 2 and parrot wall. 2. Cancreting and installation of elevator precast. Activities of 5th floor. 1. Construction of elevator wall. 2. Plastering of stair 1. 3. Installation of elevator precast. 4. CHB laying and plastering of CR, stair 2 and parrot wall. For the glass and aluminum accomplishment, for October 29th to November 4th, 2020, we have installed a total of 43 panels. The breakdown of the 43 installed panels are, 3 panels along rear elevation, on the 10th floor. While 1 panel was installed on the 11th floor, still along rear elevation. Along left elevation, 5 panels are installed on 11th floor, and 18 panels on the 12th floor. Lastly, along front elevation, facing its saw, 10 additional panels, are installed on the 12th floor, and 6 panels, on the 13th floor. Accomplishment for Cantreting Works and Glass Installation for this week, installation of 12 and 13 floor glass panels, facing at saw, 
then, 11 and 12th floor panels at Connecticut Street last, 10 and 11 floor panels at Florida Street. Preparation of work next week, for November 5th to 11, 2020. Installation of glass panels, at 13th floor facing at saw. 12 and 13 panels on Connecticut Street. Last, 11 and 12 panels on Florida Street. For accomplishment report for architectural works as of November 4, 2020. First, I discuss the scope of work, have and accomplishment. For masonry, for this week, it gained 1.51% with total percent of 27.57%. Next is the floor finishes. For this week, it's achieved 0.60% with total percent 24.23%. Then, wall finishes, this week, it got 0.23% with total percent 4.59%. Next, glass and aluminum, as accomplished this week of 2.05% with total accomplishment of 22.60%. Rest scope have no accomplishment. For accomplishment in MEPS works. At 20th floor elevator lobby, first is the pipes leaving a branch line. Next is the roughing installation of power, lighting, and auxiliary system. Lastly is the pipes leaving of Urkin drain. For accomplishment in MEPS works. At 17th floor phase 2 and 16th to 17th floor stair 2. First is the pipes leaving of branch line. Next is the sleeving of crossman line. Next is the sleeving of FCU drain collector pipes. Next is the sleeving of male and female toilet. And the pipes leaving of cold water supply pipes. Next is the roughing installation of power, lighting and auxiliary system. Also the roughing installation of lighting and auxiliary system at stair 2. Lastly is the pipes leaving of Urkin drain. In 11th floor level the accomplishment is the installation of OS and Y valve, wet stand pipe riser at stair 1. In 10th floor level the accomplishment is the installation of crossman line. In 9th floor level, the accomplishment is the installation of freshened exhaust air duct and the roughing installation for lighting and auxiliary system at Tower Crane 1 location. In 8th floor level, the accomplishment is the installation of OS and Y valve at stair 1. In 7th floor level, the accomplishment is the roughing installation of exit light at stair 1 and stair 2. In 6th floor level, the accomplishment is the installation of branch line. In plumbing works the accomplishment is the installation of 150 mm pipe and 200 mm PVC pipe riser of soil stack, waste stack, vent stack, FCU stack, and downspout. And installation of 150 mm galvanized iron for downspout at ground floor level to 7th floor level. In 5th floor level, the accomplishment is the roughing installation of lighting system. In 2nd floor level, the accomplishment is the feature layout for auxiliary system at high voltage switch gear area. In basement 1 level, the accomplishment is the installation of pulled box for auxiliary system. The accumulated progress accomplishment this week are, 7.53% for plumbing works. Fire protection works is 5.05%. Electrical works is 3.73%. And mechanical works is no accomplishment. We call attention in GCB to submit the bill of quantities for MDI to evaluate their progress accomplishment. Project schedule and percentage accomplishment as of October 29th to November 4th, 2020. This week, the update for milestone is the close out of 17th floor. Then, start of cancreting of 20th floor slab lobby. For construction schedule. The update construction days elapsed as cut-off date at October 29th to November 4th, 2020 is 608 days or equivalent to 51.22%. The construction day remaining is 579 days or 48.78%. Project accomplishment for this week is of November 4th, 2020. The schedule for general requirements is 5.30% compared to actual percentage of 7.96%. For C, S, A, it's of 30.64% on schedule accomplishment while the actual percent is resulting of 31.52%. In M, E, P, F, the accomplishment is behind on required schedule. We call the attention of those trade contractor to fast track their work and deliver the materials to accompany the target work schedule. The schedule accomplishment is 6.17% while the actual is 0.70%.
In overall accomplishment, the result of schedule is 42.11%, while the actual is 40.19%. Therefore, the result of schedule compared to actual is negative 1.91% or equivalent number of days of negative 23 days. For structural schedule, this week the progress accomplishment are, 17th floor phase 2, and 19th floor elevator shear wall 2. Next preparation, 18th floor slab phase 1, and 20th floor elevator shear wall 1. Manpower loading. From October 29th to November 4, 2020, highest manpower was last Thursday October 29th, at 351. Safety update. 1. Deck a barrier along building perimeter at 18th floor phase 1. 2. Shoring for 18th floor slab phase 1. 3. Installation of safety net at 15th floor. 4. Blue saxicolon for concrete lantern's for perimeter protection at 17th floor. The meeting of agenda will be discussed by our MC to clarify the each concern on the respective contractors. This is the end of our weekly presentation. Thank you and God bless.